This time, I want you to see how I treat my dehydrated bandas or orchids before I am going to repot all of them. Okay, so first, we should have to have a water from the well because water from the well is very good for orchids since this is unchlorinated. Second one is I usually use this. No, uh, This will be mixed with water. Okay, so I have here a Yakult. Okay. So all we have to do is to mix this dito sa tubig. Okay. We should have to make sure that we could be able to get all the liquid from the container. Okay. So, this one. Yakult is very good for dehydrated orchids. Okay. Actually, this is a an idea coming from a vet. Okay, so we have to make sure that all the liquid inside will be used. Okay, so after we should have to mix this so that we could be able to make sure that by that the Yakult liquid will be mixed from the water. Okay, so this is how I treat my dehydrated orchids, especially they are coming from long transit. So, first, we should have to soak the roots. Okay, because roots if the roots are very dry so this could help to revive the roots of the orchids okay. so we should have to soak all the the stem that includes the stem and then next so this one okay so, we should have to make sure that the roots will be soaked with the water so that there is a big chances for them to survive. Okay. So, this is the only uh, technique that I use. No? So, if you try to look at it, kadalasan sa aking mga naghihingalong orchids sa Il Paraiso, they survived because of this technique. No? Because of this technique. So, basahin natin ang buong katawan ng orchids. Pagkatapos, hayaan nating maibabad ang kanyang mga roots dito sa tubig na may yakult. So, no, this is a simple way of treating dehydrated bandas or dehydrated orchids. So, baka or upang bumalik ang kanilang sigla. Okay. So, no, this is really funny because I was struck with the flowers they posted on Facebook and no, because I don't know the name of this Symbidium. So, meron na pala ako dito sa garden. Okay. So, but however, no, at least meron merong naidagdag doon sa garden or merong maidagdag doon sa garden. Okay, so this one 
basahin lang natin. Okay, so this is a simple way of treating them. No, so we have to treat our dehydrated banda with the use of water and yakult. Okay. And then while doing this, I would like to say thank you to all my subscribers. So keep on watching all my videos and I am also excited with our upcoming raffle draw. So I hope that um, when you receive your prize, no, when you receive your orchids, you will be happy as well. Though we could not be able to cater or give all the um, entries, however, at least we could be able to provide happiness to our subscribers. But don't worry because I have a monthly surprises for my organic subscribers. Okay, so I am happy that you are still with me. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so kailangan lang talaga natin siyang ibabad. Okay, babad lang natin yan. So that mabasa yung dahon. And then yung yakult, uh, it will absorb to the leaves. And this could cause them to be alive again. So, and then we are going to soak them uh, 30 minutes to 1 hour. And then after that, we are going to remove this. And, and then put in a place where the air could pass freely so that the water will not store on the edges of the leaves. Because sometimes, not, all, not actually sometimes, no, kadalasan, ito yung dahilan ng pagkakaroon ng crown rat. So, I hope with this, we could be able to give chance to this plant, to this plant to survive. Okay, so I hope that you gained another experience no through watching this video on how to treat our dehydrated orchids before we are going to repot this it's either it's either to the pots uh, or you are going to put this in a drip wood so however no since i have uh, so many kaimitos in the garden at El Paraiso so I will put them directly to the drip tool okay so others they are going to hang this no it ang kanilang ginagawa talagang uh, ibi ano tao dito they hang this na pabaliktad so that the roots will grow however I use uh, what I usually did uh, for my dehydrated and dying orchids um, no so after treating I usually um, put them or place them directly to the driftwood and then of course taking them with an optimum care so that they could be able to survive at the end of the day so thank you so much for watching and I hope that you gain another experience with me uh, for um, what you call this one no? by simply watching all my videos and thank you for watching God bless, bye bye and stay safe always